Okay, so in previous videos, I've showed you how to cut and fit this MDF skirting board. Now I've sanded down the joints, but I haven't filled anything yet. I've left the screws exposed and I haven't done any caulking on the top just yet. We'll come to that later. So this is what we're going to be painting. There's products on the market now like MDF Primer, where I find this a waste of money. All I'm using here is B&Q's own brand value undercoat. on top of the skating board. The paint will raise the grain or the fibres in the MDF and when it's dry it'll feel rough. But if you sand it down between each coat then each coat you put on Will get smoother and smoother. So by the time you've put two undercoats on and two top coats on, it'll be really smooth. Now I've switched over from a brush to the foam roller to do the flats on the skating board. You can carry on with the brush to do this, but I just find the rollers a bit quicker. And I'm using the tape and knife on the floor to stop paint going on the floorboards and to stop the roller picking up any grit off the floor which will ruin the finish a little tip for you if you're doing a coat each day then wrap your roller and your brush in a plastic bag this will stop it drying out and you won't have to wash it every time you use it. And it'll stay soft in the bag probably up to about a week. Now for the top of the skating board I'm going to be filling it with decorator's cork or this universal acrylic sealant. And for the screw holes any gaps in the joints and I'm going to be using this powder filler. 